Hey everyone, it's your boy back at it again, Ifamu Yiwa. Coming with you with another video today. Today, we're gonna talk about a real important subject today. I even had to write it down for y'all. It's called Orisha Pimps. Let's get started. How to avoid Orisha Pimps. First tip, education is the most important. Reason B, is if you get into something you don't know anything about, how can you know somebody's getting you or how can you know somebody's trying to trick you? As they said, the man with one eye is the king of the land of the blind. Number two, don't move too fast. This is the first mistake everybody uh, makes. You wanna learn so much, you wanna take in much knowledge as possible, but every time you run too fast, guess what, you run into a wall. And with these Arisha pimps, they use that to their advantage and take advantage of you. Please be careful, take your time. One foot after the other. The next one is get to know the priests. This is the most important. You would not want to get into a long-term uh, anything with a priest and you don't really know them. You want to get to know the priest first before you commit your life to this person because most times they're going to be your go-to person when problems come up uh, anything you know readings and things of that nature so definitely get to know the priests hang out with them a little bit talk with them pick their brain a little bit get to know them the next one is build a relationship with the members this is a very important one because a lot of the members, if they're dysfunctional or they're happy, you would know by talking to them. So I've been in a situation, uh, I was looking, talking to a couple people from a different Efi house, and I heard all the information, all I needed to know before I was even to approach the Bob Bilal there, I heard it from the members, and the members let me know everything. Stuff I wanted to know and stuff I didn't want to know. So always befriend some of the members of that ELA so they can let you know what type of tone they have or what type of energy level that's around there. The next one is, if you don't know, ask. Always ask questions. Do not, do not, do not go in an impression like, uh, I don't know anything. Okay, that's cool. Ask questions so you can know. So if you ask questions, you can build up on your knowledge. And if you go to a priest, or members that don't want to ask questions or answer questions or kind of brush you off, you already know what time it is. Get up out of there. The next one is, remember, they are not God.